While scrolling through TikTok, writing away my brain, I came across a post by a user named 8 Joe. It was in the same format as those Marvel Worst Universe comic uh, formats, but this time with Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at JR's is the scariest. No, the joy of creation is the scariest. No, FNAF VHS is the scariest. Hardly. FNAF Plus is the scariest. That is never going to come out, so that's clearly off the list. But there was one last game in the slideshow of scariest FNAF games. And that one with the title of A Shadow Over Freddy's. I had not heard of this game, and had it not been for this post on TikTok, I probably would not be making this video now. And, um, well, it was removed by the creator not so long ago. So the only way I was actually going to be able to play it was by clicking on a sketchy link on a Reddit post. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it didn't mess with my computer. I'm sure there's no malware whatsoever. But you don't want to hear me talk about this any longer than you are waiting to actually see me play. So, without further ado, let's find out if this really is the scariest Five Nights at Freddy's fan game to exist. From first appearances, this looks like a normal Five Nights at Freddy's or even horror based like media game. From what I'm looking at right now, before even clicking new game, before even actually playing it, it looks like something that might unease me, like uh, Mandela catalog did when that was coming out. I guess we'll figure out why a lot of people consider this to be a very scary game. <laughs> you wake up in a small dark room, laying down on a cold, checkered floor with your back against a wall, feeling like hell. Your mouth tastes like copper and there's nothing to hear but the low buzz of a metal fan. Alright. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gradually, your eyes begin to open, muscles trembling as they try to stretch and contract. Your memory is foggy and your head throbs, failing to recall any information that might shed light on your current situation. Your body reacts faster than your brain, picking itself up off the floor using a desk nearby. You grab a light source and begin to look around to regain your bearings. A lifeless husk of a building reveals itself to you through the cone of the flashlight. Dust and cobwebs aligning every corner. Crumpled up papers, cups and black stains covering the floor. Drips of water seeping through the rotten wooden ceiling. The layout is familiar to you, but its walls aren't nearly as inviting or friendly. Your chest feels heavy with dread, much like a man to be hung at the gallows. The first coherent thoughts that enter your head urge you to leave as soon as possible. Leave immediately, before the shadows that have devoured this abandoned building come to consume you as well. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's great to have you back home. Five nights remaining. Ooh. Ooh, interesting, 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 interesting. Oh, oh, these instructions will appear every night before going out into the restaurant. Click on them to continue. Oh, I don't like this. Move your cursor to aim the flashlight at areas of interest, pointing towards a side of the screen while rotate the camera. Left-click on an open path to move into an adjacent room. 
A hostile presence is watching. Complete your objectives before 6 a.m. or you will be attacked. Oh, okay. Hmm, don't like that. Night one, find the exit. That's it. Well, if my memory serves me right on every fan-based Five Nights at Freddy's map location, I have an idea. I'm just gonna hug the wall. I'm just gonna hug the wall. I'm just gonna hug the wall. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, the kitchen goes. Can I enter the? I can't enter the kitchen. <gasps> okay, okay, that's just part of the arcade cabinet. Okay. Not loving this at all. Well, there's the exit. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I, I was I was I was Not a fan not a fan of that you are pulled back to safety by a floating featureless figure standing before you with its eyes locked on your pale face it looks like it wants to help recover your lost memories sir i just want to get the fuck out of dodge okay the shadow offers you a story to clear your head will you accept sure oh it's the marionette what's up dude there once was a little kid who liked to play with his toys by his lonesome. Alright. He lived with his family on a small, peaceful house outside of town, surrounded by forestry. The home's backyard was his personal stage where he played with his figurines of various shapes and sizes, making plays which were acted out for his enjoyment alone. Although he was alone, he was content in living on his youthful, on his youth, playing with the plastic friends his parents had gifted him. They were a small mannequin, a stuffed teddy bear, a porcelain dressed up doll, and a toy robot. One day, the family's pet dog stole one of the toys during his playtime. Into the woods, he excitedly ran away with the toy robot, prompting the kid to chase after him to reclaim his friend. Annoyed by the dog's playful attitude, the kid caught up. Grabbing the toy from the thief's mouth, he began to pull. I can already see bad things happening with that. Oh, to be young and carefree. A kid and his dog, playing tug-of-war in the back garden of their house with no one to interrupt them. Seems like a wonderful memory, doesn't it? The dog, excited to finally receive attention it craved from the young master of the house, refused to lose this game they found themselves playing. The toy robot was almost free from the dog's mouth when... Relieved to have gotten his friend back, the kid whipped off. The kid wiped off the pool of drool off the toy robot with the bottom of his shirt. He walked back home, leaving the animal twitching helplessly on the grass, with barely enough room left in its swollen neck to let out a pitiful, dry hell. 
The kid arriving back from out the trees positioned the toy robot back where it was on his makeshift stage and continued playing. Later that afternoon, the parents found the body of the dog. They buried it where it stood. The fuck? What the fuck? Four nights remaining. What the fuck? <laughs> Each night, your enemies become more aggressive, okay? A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It hides in rooms waiting for you to pass by. Be careful of where you are going. I right, cool. Hold right-click on an open path to listen to sounds coming from adjacent rooms. The more time passes, the better you'll hear. Alright. So what's my goal? Night 2, follow the music. Alright. If I have to. Not fun. Ooh, Bonnie and Chica can only be heard if you hold right click on a path to a room they are in, or if they ha if they've come to your room. Oh man, ooh, ch chills, literal chills. Oh man, this is get this is this is something. This is something. Let's go. I didn't even realize Foxy could be a thing. Okay. That's gonna be a problem. Why the fuck am I here? I'm not having a good time. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> well, I'm having a great time, but I'm not having a good time. We're gonna go that way, not the bathroom, because the bathroom got me killed. So we're gonna go the other direction. Listen, why did I do that? Why didn't I listen? Oh, <gasps> the fuck are you? <laughs> right. I'm so lost.
<laughs> Fuck! <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Follow the music. So I follow the music. And he keeps leading me back to the bathroom. I saw, uh, what's his name? That variant of Freddy from FNAF 2. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to interact with him. You know? He didn't seem like a friendly guy. So, you know, I just sort of like, went, I just avoid, just, I just left, I, you know, I just, mm. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi, bud. You are pulled back again to safety as the sound of the untuned music box winds down. The shadow offers another story as a reward for completing your task. Will you accept? I mean, I might as well. The story I tell to you is a true story that I pray you never forget. There once was a boy who laid awake at night during a harsh downpour. Beneath the covers of his bed, he closed his eyes and tried to ignore the storm just outside his room. Enveloped in darkness, a sensation of creeping discomfort kept him from falling asleep. The roars of the storm were nothing compared to the restlessness of the <clears throat> The roars of the storm were nothing compared to the restlessness that the shadows cast from the window gave him. He felt eyes watching him from afar. The boy opened his eyes and looked toward the window. But nothing was there. He tried to go back to sleep. Oh, buddy. He opened his eyes again, and out of the corner of his eye, he spotted it. The hollow white eyes of a living shadow. It appeared just as quickly as it went away. His uneasiness pushed to the side by growing curiosity. The boy got up from his bed and approached the window. Why would you do that? From out the glass, he could see it. The silhouette of an animal, darker than the night around it and void of cold and void of color, even when light struck its frame, running off into the tree with a familiar object struck in its mouth. <gasps> it's the dog with the robot toy, his favorite toy, stolen again. Being carried towards the forest, the boy couldn't help but follow along the shadow's path. Oh no! The night air was freezing, brazen winds carrying countless droplets that hit the skin like marbles, their impact deafening any other sounds other than the imposing thunder. Call it premonition, but he knew where the shadow had gone to, that place at the edge of the forest where he had last left the family dog. He was sure he would find it. Standing in front of the grave once more, the eyes from the shadow had gone away. In its stead, the twice-stolen toy robot now lay on top of the muddy mountain. But this time, it was moving. 
its tiny plastic arms flailing violently from side to side, its head rotating in place. The movements were sudden but clear. Unprompted by any outside influence, a spark of life was trapped inside this tiny vessel. <laughs> Fascinated by such discovery, he picked up the toy from the ground and held it tightly with both of his hands to prevent it from escaping his grasp. Smiling from ear to ear, the boy headed back home. Oh. Oh no. Three nights remaining. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Don't stand still. Enemies will move into your room if you take too long. Hiding next to you. I don't think I was doing that before. Uh, if a shadow is in the same room as you, it'll wait for you to move before attacking. Find it and scare it away before you proceed. A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It moves slower, but it is harder to detect. Be patient while leaning over into other rooms. Interesting. So it's like a... Oh. Sorry. It's like a... Even out. Don't stay in rooms too long, but listen carefully, as you may not be able to hear the danger that lurks. Enter the kitchen. I have a key now, so I know where the kitchen is. Oh, do I need to look for the key? Interesting. Now the question begs. Where is the key? I am assuming the key to be in the sa very same room where I found the marionette on the last night. What is that? He obtained, cool. Shadow got, key obtained. Now just focus on getting back to the kitchen. It's very... Actually, I don't want to say anything. What type of kitchen is this? That was a very calm night. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't... Like... I knew they were out there. But I didn't know where they were. I think I, inter I at least got a interaction at least once, once or twice. But like other than that, like I had an idea of where I was could have gone or I was supposed to go uh, through context clues from the previous night. Uh, so it was just a simple circle around. Hmm. The shadow offers yet another story from your past. Will you accept? Oh, it's my story. Okay. 
sure. He offers to... Yeah, I mean, of course. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, bud. Let's get this story going. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a story that I tell to you. I hope you're taking notes for the quiz at the end. Oh, oh well. Just, uh, I'm just put open a notepad. He could just be jo joking with me, but you never know. There once was a young man who had grown hungry for knowledge. Growing into adolescence, he had isolated himself from his family, focusing instead on his passion for the unknown, the spiritual, the place of mystery he had come to know years ago. In a box under his bed, he hid his secret away from all others, his living plastic friend, still thrashing and writhing inside. Every night he observed his movements intensely. The young man spent entire days away from home, reading and studying about spirits and vessels. His interest turned into obsession, and his need to understand grew. Alas, it was all for naught, as no book had the key to the answer he'd been seeking. All he found were vague rumors and legends with no instructions or explanations. To continue down the rabbit hole, he knew what had to be done. Alright. Since he was a kid, the young man never saw his dad as anything more than an obstacle. He was a moody, aggressive, old alcoholic who only talked to his son when he needed something to shout at. Having driven away that loved him away. Had driven ev having driven everyone that loved him away, the drunkard was worth less than nothing in the eyes of the boy. Thus, he was the perfect candidate. One day, when coming home, seeing the old man sprawled onto, uh, sprawled out onto the kitchen table with a bottle on, ha on hand, he decided to show dear old daddy a new way of life. Holding a small felt doll in his right hand, the teen made his way to the house's garage. After a few hours, the deed was done and the plan in action. The boy watched his oblivious father drive away in his car, unaware of the tampering that had been done to the vehicle. Sitting on his bed, the young man took his dear pet out of the box and began to press harshly on its square plastic head. As it trembled in pain, he waited on the outcomes of his small experiment. Oh, the humanity. After the car accident, he recovered the doll that he had planted below the seat and returned it to his house. Placing it on his desk, he watched it closely for that same spark that reminded him that remained inside his robotic friend. But much to his frustration, no movement came from the doll. Nothing. The vessel ha he had prepared for his father was empty, devoid of even a single remnant of life. Furious by his failure, he ripped the felt doll apart and threw it aside. What a waste. From then on, he was free of the shackles of his drunken caretaker, but without the trophy he had planned to take from this monstrous act of sabotage. Unflinching in his resolve and with no guilt in his empty heart, he contemplated what to do next. I was kidding when I said there was to be a quiz. Son of a bitch! <laughs> By the way, not that that matters. Or that you deserve it. Huh? Aww? Oh, I'm so intrigued. I'm so intrigued. Two nights remaining. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, what to do now? A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It sleeps inside Pirate's Cove on the southwest corner of the building. Yeah, I know that guy. Check behind the curtains frequently or it will escape and chase you relentlessly. Oh no, I'm gonna go through the Pirate's Cove side. Collect the pieces- SON OF A BITCH! <laughs> Why you gotta make me do that? Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Well, that's one of said objects. We're gonna go that way! We're gonna go that way! We're not gonna go the other way, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way as well. <laughs> mm -mm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, I didn't mean to click! Out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I'll, re I'll loop back to the kitchen. But before I do that, I'm going to go to Pirate's Cove. So I may... I'm gonna go to Bi Pirate's Cove, just check on Foxy. Yeah, okay. I did not look at Foxy. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? <laughs> Foxy, you got room for two? I'm fucked. Hey bud, you got you got room for two in there? Foxy, 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 Foxy. What's up, dude? Okay, that looks more like Foxy. Okay, I just didn't get a good look at him at first. Okay, that path is still good. That's nice. That is a good. That's good. Very good. Jeez, this is- I really enjoy this game. I'm v very much enjoying this. I'm quite sad that it was taken down. Ah! Oh, jeez! Okay. So, what we've learned is that find the things before 6 a.m. Waiting around for enemies to come to you wastes time. Try to avoid confrontation whenever possible. I know. I know. Man, so that's where Freddy's at. I've yet to see Chica. That's gonna be something. Um, but... Yeah, okay. So, I was wondering what would happen at 6 a.m. I was like... Because it was like, we're getting, we're getting this timer and stuff. It's just like... Yeah. So anyway... Skip that. Go in. Now, the real test. Collect the pieces. A real question now is if it is a system of random location. I'd hate that, if that was the case. Or not. We'll figure this out when we head over to Pirate's Cove. Because Pirate's Cove has one of the eggs that we want. I'm gonna call them eggs because they kind of look like eggs. Okay. It is not a system. It's not a random system. It is a. Oh, it, bleh, it's not a random system. Which is good for me and my sanity. I 
I hear laughing. There you are. Cool. Get out of here. Get, get. Get. We're gonna go that way. That's Chica. I can tell that's Chica. <laughs> I have an idea of where they're gonna be. One's probably gonna be on stage. Yeah, one's probably gonna be on stage. One's probably gonna be at the exit. One's gonna be probably in the bathroom. One's gonna be in the... One's... Probably... Don't like that. Where's the Freddy head? We're gonna have to circle back to Foxy now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go straight to Foxy. I'm not gonna go looking for other things in the meantime. I'm just gonna go straight to Foxy, and then we'll circle back. Cause I'd rather... I'd rather have Foxy asleep for the last two eggs. Let's go back to bed. Not to, it's not showtime yet. We are doing we are cruising a lot quicker than we did last night. Or the last last try. Which I am a fan of. Now the last egg is either in the backstage or the break room. Thank you very much. Hello, Endo. Let's try to loop through... Let's try to hug the walls on this one. We can't all well, but... So far it's looking good. Although... That is uh, to be determined. We're already like... Like, we're doing so much more... Uh, we're doing so much more better, I don't know how to word that, so much better, than previous. Anyone in the kitchen? Yep. And the last egg is right there. Oh, hi, bud. I really love this. It's really good. <laughs> oh man. This is interesting. <laughs> you are pulled back to safety away from the monsters lurking in the abandoned restaurant. The shadow offers one more story to clear away the fog inside your mind. Will you accept? Yes, I will. I don't see why not. <laughs> there once was a sick, twisted monster who stalked its victims from the shadows. Its heart far gone from its body, this putrid, parasitic individual lived for the hunt to capture and corrupt the weak, all for the sake of satisfying its disgusting pleasure. Tonight was no different. Amidst the rain, this vile vampire of society spotted a young girl left outside the entrance to a family restaurant. 
She looked in from a window as other kids inside had fun and celebrated without her. The monster approached the girl from behind, its body trembling in anticipation to savor the perfect opportunity that had been laid out in front of it. Maybe if some humanity was still lingering inside of if some if some shred of dignity had remained in its hollow heart, it would have felt pity for her. Maybe it could have sympathized with her situation. It stood still, inches away from her, its hands reaching out for her back, the sound of its breathing masked by the downpour of surrounding them. The child felt a chill down her spine. She saw its eyes looking at her in the reflection of the glass. She slowly turned around to face the figure towering over her. You rotten, ignorant, heartless creature. You left that innocent little girl in that alley to die a cold, lonesome death. Your hands were tainted red with her blood, colorless in your empty eyes, and you felt nothing but satisfaction from taking her life. And for what? You don't remember. We all know that's not true. These meetings have been merely a formality. If it were up to me, I would have left you alone to be torn apart by your captors limb by limb. Just like you tore the life away from her that night, tossing her into the trash after capturing the fragments of her essence. Ooh, I kind of, I had an idea, I had an idea that we were playing Michael Afton. Or not Michael Afton, uh... Whatever the fuck his name, ah, the, the William Afton, that's his name. But now it's time for you to feel her pain. To feel the pain that all your victims suffered. Rotten hell, William Afton. Alongside the shadows of your past. Oh. Ooh. I had an idea. I had a thought. One night remaining. Huh? What do you mean one night remaining? I thought that was it. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Huh? I thought I was playing the purple guy. But, um. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, hey, there's the robot. There's the dog. Oh. Ooh, shit. Ooh, what? The fuck you mean, run? The fuck you mean, run? Oh, I'm... I'm cornered.
Huh? Wait, huh? I went to the kitchen. my party and I'll cry if I want to. The audio is the same. The audio is exactly the same. It doesn't matter. Ah! Oh, jeez! Chica can appear in your room if she gets impatient of waiting around. Look around and find her before trying to move. Excuse me? That's, well, I mean, I guess we saw Chica. <laughs> Bro. 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 Does it even matter? What am I supposed to? Like. <sighs> oh, and I just. Okay, cool. Head this way. Yeah, it's all backwards. Something else. Am I actually just supposed to survive till like 6 a.m.? Cause, uh. Huh. Confused. Well, I'm not confused about that. I'm, I'm gonna go this way. The only other way I could go. Oh, man. This is like... This is something. This is something. Oh, I don't know. I was not expecting a game like... I, I was ex... I remember reading that it was a point-and-click adventure, but... Back on stage. <laughs> oh, jeez! I scratched my eye. What am I supposed to do? 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 <laughs> am I supposed to find the exit? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is the only thing I can think of. Okay, 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 okay. Boogity boogity. <laughs> Man, okay, so I did, uh, I looked it up. Because otherwise, I feel like I would have been lost forever. Uh, I was right. Bathrooms. Now, the one time the bathrooms are good. Now, the question is... How do I get there? <laughs> ah! Oh, jeez! Ah, 
I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I was looking for her. I was looking for her. I knew she was there. <sighs> this is where it becomes less scary and more annoying. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I wanted to see how far I could get without getting jump scared just by walking. <laughs> I'm a big strong man. <laughs> okay. Uh This isn't fun. This is just annoying. Night five, run, run. Night five, run, run, run. Night five, run, run. Night five, run, run, run. Don't go in the kitchen. There seems to be creatures there. You heard me, don't go in the kitchen. Because the monsters will beware. Don't go in the kitchen. I know you want to bad. Don't go again. Monsters will be here. Spent a lot of my time running through these halls with nothing to show for it because the monsters they keep creep and crawl. And so I say, don't go in the kitchen. Cause the monsters will sure be there. Don't go in the kitchen. <coughs> because the monsters will surely be there. Ah! Uh. Hey, Freddy.
That was good. <laughs> oh man, I had FNAF 2's like and like a little stuff like in FNAF 3 stuff just playing in my head the entire time while I was like while well, playing this game. My little turn. <laughs> You were once a man called William Afton. In life, you chose to waste time chasing shadows, turning a blind eye at the suffering of others. Leeching off the remnant of life that was robbed from your victims, you fought your fated death until your last rotten breath. But after decades of running away from retribution, you perished, trapped by your own mecha machinations. Your body turned to ash, crushed inside one large metallic coffin. Your soul, now naked and vulnerable, was dragged down to the darkest depths of the earth and taken by the forces that would decide your fate. And their judgment was clear. This place was born out of your judgment, this colorless replica, a reflection of where your life should have first ended, populated by the shadows of your past. This is your punishment, an endless night trapped within the abandoned confines of the dream you turned into a nightmare, inside the place of joy you poisoned with your selfish desires. Congratulations. It's your own personal hell. You truly deserve it. My job is finished. I'm through trying to find humanity in you. Your chances of redemption are long gone and you have no one to blame but yourself. Over the course of these five nights, you have failed to show regret for your actions, nor care about anything other than your escape from this prison. You did this to yourself, and as such, I leave you to your fate. This is the end, William. Good riddance. The end? Question mark? Something is missing. Oh no, don't do this to me! No! Oh man, I don't want to go looking for secrets! <laughs> Shadow Over Freddy's by Phil Morg. Man! That was a good game. Illustrated and script edited. Illustrations and script editing by. Uh, Kelsey Bright. Uh, yeah. Special thanks to... Nixon. Textures, Materials, and Aesthetics Assistance. Super Arthur Bros. Base Character Models and Props. Real FNAF Fails. Springtrap Mask. Haraga LSF Development, Nixon and Kelsey Bright Testing and Feedback. So not only did they help make it, but they were also the uh, testers. That's cool. What better way to what better way, um... Uh... Scott Cawthon. Creating Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, what better that way to, uh, uh... Have someone test your game than be the one who's making it. Or part of the development team. Yeah, that that final night was the final night was annoying. <laughs> yeah, that that final night was annoying. Uh, like obviously it's doable. It wasn't like it's not something to gripe over, but at the same time, it's like man, it felt very very RNG. Anyway, that was a shadow over Freddy's. It says I can continue. Which I'm very curious about. Which means possibly night six. I might play, I might uh, continue the game in a future endeavor. 
But for now, I think I'm going to leave it here. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe, like, all that stuff, uh, as per the norm. And until my next video, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.